Hi guys, this is Echo Sowers, and I'm going to be doing a really quick Logic X tutorial, or rather more of a tip and trick. I do mainly tutorials for Massive and Silent on the ADSR Sounds Network, and on most of my videos now I'm getting about two or three comments each time asking where did I get this Pro Tools theme, this skin, this template, and how do I install it? So I just thought I'd do a really quick tutorial, because this is really easy to do, and I think it is a really fun thing to do for anyone who stares at a computer screen like myself mixing all day. So this is a Pro Tools theme. If any of you have ever used Pro Tools, it will look a lot like it. I love it. I like this one particularly a lot more than the Logic stock interface and the skin because I thought the GUI was too dark personally. The only issue I have with this is this in the region because I'll use the transpose feature a lot or I'll use you know my crossfades here sometimes. I can't see the boxes, you just kind of got to know they're there, and as you click up, you'll see it illuminate. But that's really the only thing that I dislike with it. Other than that, it works flawlessly. I've had no issues with it. So, let's get to how you install the thing. If you go to this website, links in the description, you will see all of his, his uh, skins. Now, his themes, as he calls them. Now, they are commercial, so you have to pay for them, but... I will put the caveat out there that his work very well. He updates them as Logic updates. And I've tried a couple free ones, and they look cool, but they don't always work properly. So here's, here's I mean, if you just look at some of these, they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, look, at, there's a new Fender theme he came out with recently. If, that's, if browns are the color, then that's a great option for you. I just recently got this uh, Empirical Labs one. I thought it looked awesome. I mean, I'd rather stare at that than some of the ugly interfaces that producers and everyone are, were, you know, mix engineers that we're faced with it looking at. Like, that's a great mixer. Uh, and I have an Empirical Labs hardware unit, so it looks really cool. Kind of harkens to that. He has a bunch. He has Cubase, Pro Tools, a few different Pro Tools. He has uh, he has um, Ableton. He has a bunch. He actually has some some plugins for some themes for the actual stock plugins and Logic. Everything. So all you do is you go to a site, find one you like, and then click donate, and it will take you to his PayPal page. It was about it's each one's about seven five seven euros depending on how old it is, and I think that equates to about twelve bucks USD. And then he emailed me personally in about I would say less than a day, probably about. 15 hours or so from my day because there's a time difference. I'm in the States. He's in Poland, I believe. So that's all you do. You can do it through PayPal or through credit card. And then once you get it, you're going to get a file on your desktop and you're going to open it. It comes with instructions, but if for all you visual learners out there, here we go. So then you're going to go to, if you're on a Mac, you're going to, if you're on a Mac, you're going to be on a Mac. This is a logic tutorial. That was stupid. All right. So you're going to go to your applications and you're going to not click on airdrop and then what you're going to do is you're going to find logic pro x and then you're going to right click on this so control click and select show package contents click on contents and then you're going to go to frameworks and then inside of frameworks there's going to be all of these little lego looking guys you're going to select mar resources framework do not select the other ones that say mar resources gblg or anything this one and then you'll see versions, click on A, and then you'll see resources again. Now you're in, here's all of the GUI interface elements for Logic. Back this up, save this on a separate hard drive, or if you don't have a separate hard drive, rename this one really quick, copy it. So just hit, you know, go to edit, copy, paste it, and then rename it A sources or our stock or something just so you have them and then what you do all you got to do is copy and paste everything that was in the folder that you got from the template site into here so you just highlight all of them drag it in copy and paste and then replace everything uh don't get weirded out if it adds a couple files i think there was like 2900 and something in the stock theme of logic and his adds a couple elements to you know well, about maybe about 100 to 3100, and that's all you do. Reboot Logic, make sure Logic's closed as you do this, and then reboot, and you're good to go. So I'll do that one more time, just so you can see, because it's a, it's, a, it's a few steps. So go to your applications, right-click on Logic Pro X, show package contents, click on contents, click on frameworks, find that MAR resources framework without anything after it, click on it, then you'll see resources and versions, click versions, click A, click resources, there it is, boom. 
you are done and you have your theme installed and you are ready to go. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.